Hello everyone, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel Visual Basic for application series that is running into my channel. So friends, today in this part, in this video, today's topic will be how to delete rows if cell is blank and we are going to use the for loop in our VBA code. So friends, I have most frequently used a negative step for loop to loop through ranges of cells deleting rows that meet certain criteria. If you loop from the top rows to the bottom rows as you delete rows, you will mess up your code, right? So we are going to write a code that will delete rows if a particular cell is blank in your database. So at first go to the developer tab, click on Visual Basic, otherwise you can press the Alt and F11 key from your keyboard to get into it. Click on insert then insert a new module, type here your code like I am using the sub procedure name as for each underscore delete rows underscore blank rows so that it will be clearly understandable to ourselves right hit enter come to the next line now we need to declare a variable by using dim n as integer now the type of this variable must be an integer right now we are using for loop here n equals to 10 to 1 step minus 1 right here hit the tab button come to the next line of n to indent your code type if range bracket open open double inverted comma type a close double inverted comma ampersand symbol n close the bracket dot select value from the drop down menu hit the tab button to autofill it equals to type double quotation twice right then hit enter come to the next line now hit the tab button again type range open bracket open inverted comma a close inverted comma again ampersand symbol n close bracket dot select entire row from the drop down menu hit the tab button to autofill it dot delete hit the enter button come to the next line backspace come to the next line of if type in if hit enter button and come to the next line of for type next n right hit the enter button now that's all your code has been completed now let's come to the excel workbook and let's see if it actually works let's say here one here i left it blank here type 2, 3, now here I have again left that blank, 5, right? Now select it, go to the developer tab, click on macros and run your code by highlighting that created code. Run that code. Look at here, every rows that had a empty cell had been deleted successfully. So that's all for today friends, hopefully you like this video, I'll give you the link of this workbook into my description box, please check that. I'll come back soon with another interesting video like this, till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.